Josh, what are you doing? I'm on hold, man. You're on hold? Yeah, on hold. I've been on hold. They've had me on hold for 10 straight Wait, damn minutes. 10 minutes? 10 minutes. Okay. I've been on hold. I'm okay. going to get through. So help me God, I'm going to get through. Well, Josh, Excellent. maybe maybe call him back later because we have a pick em to record. We have a what? We have a pick em. I know we had the pick em. Yeah. Just, 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 just wait. Just wait. We'll okay. get to the pick em. All right? All right. I'm going to get through. Damn that. Fine, fine. Well, you know, just, 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 just hurry. Oh, I'll hurry. As soon as they answer the damn phone. Who are, you, who are you calling, anyways? Who am I calling? Yeah. I'll tell you who I'm calling. I'm calling. Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hello? 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 Shut the fuck up, Sean. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're so sorry. I've been waiting on the hole for an hour and a fucking half, asshole. Uh-huh. Oh, I, I don't want to hear that crap. No way you're going to have me on hold for two hours, and then you're going to tell me they're not available. You better make sure they're available. I want to talk to the goddamn McCaskies. All of them. Yes. Do you know who the fuck I am? I am a Bears fan my whole goddamn life. And I need to get in there. And I need to tell them they need to fire Ted Phillips. They need to fire Ryan Pace. Yeah. They need to fire Matt Nagy's dumb bitch ass. Definitely. And they got to fire Chuck Pagano. They got to clean house. And they got to do it right fucking now. So get me on the goddamn phone with the fucking McCaskies. Doesn't need to happen. I don't need to lower my tone. You lower your tone. Uh huh. Oh, you know what? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. They better clean house. That's all I know. But I gotta go because we gotta pick them to record. You fucking asshole. Fuck you. <sighs> Looks like that phone call went well. Yeah. All yeah. right, Sean. You ready to record the pick them? Oh, well, I actually already started the recording like a long time ago. Welcome everybody to the picks. What's up? Let's oh go. my goodness, Shah, Shah. Oh. I'm tired of moon watching. God damn it! I'm I, tired of it. I'm actually not tired, Josh, because it's more moon watching means better draft pick. All right. I mean, listen. I mean, we're. <sighs> Jeez, How many is that now? We lost to the Lions, man. Uh, we lost to the Lions. We should have had that game. Y'all were in control that whole game until... What the hell's wrong with their defense the last couple of weeks? They're and why did Matt Nagy get away bad. from uh, David Montgomery in the second half? How many carries did he have in the second half? Like five? Jesus. Six? <clears throat> what the hell is going on? God, that dude's such a bum. Oh, let's throw the ball. We're up, but let's throw the ball. He's such a bum, Matt Nagy. I, he needs to be gone. He better be gone by the end of the year. Just God, throwing that out. How the heck? He should have been fired as soon as that game was over. Yeah. Oh, you should have. 100%. You lose to the Lions? When's the last time y'all lost to the Lions? Hey. What? It's been a long time. But look. Look who's up there. It's the goddamn Steelers. Oh, shit. Y'all the lost, Steelers. Y'all lost to a no-name team. Woo. I know y'all are getting trolled by that, but it's it's true. It's so, true. we got a first-timer in the Moon Watcher Park. Welcome, yeah. guys. Uh, welcome. Make sure you guys, uh, you know, feel welcomed. Mm -hmm. uh, there's refreshments. There's beer. Oh, yeah. There's, mm -hmm. there's hard liquor. Oh, we got some chips and salsa, yes. some uh, brownies. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know who we haven't seen up here in a while? Who? The goddamn Giants. It's been a while since we've seen them in the Moon Watcher Party. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I don't want to fucking talk about those Giants winning. What is that, four straight now? Yeah. The first time they've done it. Since now they're hot shit. 26 years. Hot oh, yeah. shit. Oh, yeah, we're so good. Oh. All right, you guys are uh, ready to shout out the top 10 performers of uh, Week 13 in our Pigskin Pick'em League? Yeah, we got to do that, right? All right. All right, coming in at number one is Sean Holver with 13 picks, correct? Giants fan, 1451. So Giants fan just winning this week, just purely with 13 points. Jack Lynch, 881 with 13 points. And then we have ESPN fan, 274626853311 with 13 points. And then we have It's Delta Ghost with 13 points. All right, and then we go. We got Sneak Freaks with 13 points. A lot of people with 13. Mm. Tighten Up with 13 points. And then DJ Ruff with 12 points. Nick Brady with 12 points. And then Browns Fan 1 with 12 points. You know what, Sean? We don't do this very often. No. I don't think we've ever done this before, ever. I don't think we have. But we're going to give a special shout-out to someone who was just outside the top 10. Jeez, and that's the homie Rogelio, yeah. who was in 11th place. He Good just, shit, bro. He was just on the outside of the top 10. He was so close. Good shit, Rogelio. <laughs> All right, so good good, good job, guys. You guys did pretty damn good uh, last week. All right, yep. here's on the total of the year now. Top mm -hmm. 10 total 
total here. Number one is still Bears fan 2006 with 137 points. Number two is the Bears. So two Bears fans? Yeah, two Bears fans. Top oh, two no. with 136 points. Nicolum at number three with 136. Go Team Pussy at number four with nice. 135 points. And then rounding out the top five is Silent Guy yep. with 134 points. And then EJ with in sixth place right there with 134 points. Also, David, two with 133. Mm-hmm. Nick Brady up there with 133. Brandon Rogers with 133. And then last, tenth place is Jesse Linday with 133. Also. Who, opti- who's optical, op- optimal cane as, as well. Optimal okay. cane. Okay. All right, good job, guys. There you go. That's our top ten performers. You guys think you're all fancy and shit with your, with your wizardry and your black Ooh. magic picking your It's games. not going to last. not going to last. All right, you guys ready for uh, week 14? I'm ready. I can't believe we're in week 14 already. Holy shit. Good. Yeah. Good. Week and 14. congratulations to all the people that made the fantasy uh, playoffs. Yeah. yeah, this is fantasy playoff now. Yep. That's right. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. Are you ready? Ready? I'm ready. Edgar, are you ready? Ah, uh, fuck it. All right. Let's get ready for the picks for week number 14. Ooh. And we start off on Thursday Night Football. We will be streaming this game. And this is Patriots at Rams. Hmm. And in this game, the Rams are going to be five-point favorites. Makes sense. Okay. The over-under is 44 and a half. So, eight and four Rams hosting the Patriots. Patriots shut out the Chargers last week. Completely. Like, wow. And Did not they, see that coming. And they scored like 45 points? Yep. Jesus. Yeah. So this is going to be a very interesting game because both teams actually have pretty solid defenses. They're right. only giving about 20 points a game. Yep. Give or take. So this is interesting. And both of them are very sporadic, though. So that's why it's tough. This? Yeah. This is really, really tough. Um, <sighs> Fuck. They, man. Mm, what am I going to go with here? See, Steph, ever since Stephon Gilmore came back, their defense has been even better. He's been playing phenomenal. The yep. Patriots. I, I, I don't know if I want to go Patriots. Rushing yards per game. Mm. Oh, Patriots are running 150 yards. Yep. But the Rams are only giving up 93 with uh You know what? I'm gonna uh, you know what the Patriots are traveling across the country. I'm gonna go with the Rams here at home. Fuck. At SoFi. I am too. I'm going Rams. You going Rams? Yeah, I just I, I'm not sure if I can trust the Patriots, man. They're All so right. sporadic. You know what? Against the spread. I'll go with the Patriots. Yeah, I think it'll be a three-point game at most, or one-point game. Over under is 44 and a half. I'm going to go with the under. Yeah. Under, both defenses are pretty solid, so let me, let's go Rams defense. All right, now let's head to Chicago, where the Bears are coming off a six-game losing streak and are hosting the Texans, the Houston Texans, and Deshaun Watson. And Deshaun Watson and the Texans are two-point favorites here yeah. in Chicago. The over-under is 44 and a half. And let me just say, I mean, six-game losing streak, Matt Nagy, he needs to lose his job. I mean, he's lost <laughs> all control. I think... I feel like, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe the defense has just given up. Maybe they're sending a message because there's no way our defense is as bad as they have been the last two weeks. That could be the case. They're, they're, you know, they're I, not that bad. See, I saw my offense do that last year, right? Like, they gave up on Jason Garrett. And maybe y'all's defense is giving up sending on Sending a message. Head. Yeah. And like, you know, we want him going. It's Because it's crazy that the defense has been playing this bad the last two weeks. Yep. And the offense hasn't been all that bad. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, the, the offensive line has been all right. Yeah. You know, David Montgomery's been getting going. Maybe you want to, like, you know, trust him more in a second going. after Matt Nagy, you idiot. You idiot. You fucking idiot. God damn, he's an idiot. I fucking hate his goddamn face. I want to fucking hit him. I want to punch Matt Nagy right in his fucking goddamn nose. Just right there. He pisses me off, Sean. He fucking pisses me off. He takes what fucking is working and he gets away from it. Every fucking time. I can't stand the motherfucker. That- no, we're not winning this game. Deshaun Watson's going to have some motivation in this game, just oh, like yeah. Patrick Mahomes did last year when mm-hmm. he really wanted to show off against the, the Chicago Bears, mm-hmm. and he did. Yep. He really did when he when he hit that touchdown. That's Remember? True. Oh, he started counting? Yep. Yeah. Deshaun That's Watson true. wants to do the same thing. Yeah, because, because we passed up on him. Didn't didn't I hear a report that the Bears apparently told him that they were, that he was going to be drafted? By so him? you don't think he's going to go out there and want to kick some fucking ass? Maybe. No, yeah, I'm sorry, Texans. Um, they're gonna win this week. Your Bears. I can't trust the. I can't trust Matt Nagy. No, I can't. The offensive line's gonna look all right. David Montgomery is gonna look good. 
because oh. he the, the Texans are giving up 150 yards per game against the rush. <laughs> but y'all probably won't give, uh, give the hand the ball off. Man, they're going to go, oh, that's working. So let's stop doing it. But they're going to know y'all are going to run the ball. So why would we do that? God damn it, I hate Mad Nagy. I hate him. <laughs> Is that really how you feel? I'm sick of it. <laughs> Don't worry, Josh. The, 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 I am so fucking tired of it. Josh says, light at the end of the tunnel. Matt Nagy will be fired. I've been a Bears fan for years. For years? When are we going to get to that light at the end of the tunnel? <sighs> I don't know. I, it, the small victories, Josh. You got to look at the small victories. Him fired is a small victory. And then what are we going to get? Another bum? Probably. We got a clean house. Well, maybe I'll we, get John Harbaugh. Pay, pace has to be gone and Ted Phillips. Or, or Check Harbaugh. out this stat, Sean. Yeah. yeah. The Bears' 10 win seasons since 1992. We've had four of them in nine years under Lovey Smith. Without Lovey Smith, four. I mean, I mean, two. I'm sorry, two in 20 fucking years. Four in nine years with Lovey. Without Lovey since 1992, we've had two 10 winning, se- 10 game winning seasons. Two. In 20 years. Yeah, that's that's tough. Uh, that's tough. I, dude, you know what? Y'all need to fire Matt Nagy, get rid of pace, and just get a whole new philosophy because the, obviously it's not working. And that's what's going to happen at the end of the year. Can we, can we just move on? We're let's, picking, let's we're picking the on. goddamn Texans. Let's move on. Okay. I'll go with the over. Uh, yeah. I'm picking the Texans. Yeah, let's do that. So, Fuck, let's man. move on, Josh. What's the next game? All right, let's go to Cincinnati. To the jungle, where the Bengals are 2-9-1, and, and they're hosting the Dallas Cowboys, who are coming off of a loss to the Baltimore Ravens. They're 3-9, and nine, and there's a lot riding on this game because of yes. draft stock. Draft order. They, right now, are the third overall pick in the NFL draft currently. We are fourth. So, if they beat us, then we could possibly be the third overall pick. So, this has a lot on the line. Who wants to tank more? Mm-mm-mm. And it's tough. No Joe Burrow. No Joe Burrow? No Joe Burrow, obviously. So that's going to be... Who's their starting quarterback again? I don't even fucking remember his name. So... <sighs> both of our defense suck. We're giving... They're giving 25-32. So, We're Sean, more points. I know you guys want to lose this game. I know you want to lose this game. But they do too. And they have a they have a lot less talent than you guys do on both sides of the ball right now. And they've had some injuries too to their offensive line. That's true. I'm going to take the Dallas Cowboys in this game. And the cow, there, there, there's no, there's no spread, there's and there's no, no over under right now. Mm, probably because the game just ended for the Cowboys. Yeah, I so guess. I'm gonna go with the Dallas Cowboys in a straight up pick. <sighs> Bengals have lost four straight, <sighs> but the Cowboys have lost four of the last five. Mm. Their only win came against Minnesota. Yeah, that's it's that's the Vikings though. Um, fuck! <sighs> I want to pick the Cowboys to win. All right, but I don't want us to win. God. Damn it. I don't want us to fucking win. <sighs> don't win. All right. Because you want to win. You want to have a better uh, stock, uh, uh, better uh, uh, draft order. Yeah. You want to be number three because drafting at number one and number two is the Jaguars and the Jets. It's and they're going to take quarterbacks. Yeah. And you want that left tackle out of Oregon. Oh, please. All right. Please. If there's any football gods out there that love me, please. Okay. Please. Please. Yo, Sean. What if you take the third overall spot, mm-hmm. and you guys draft a quarterback? But who? There's no quarterback to take at number three. What if you guys just do it? <sighs> Josh, just stop. Okay, all right. Just, just, just fuck just, with you. You're stressing me out. <laughs> you're stressing me out, man. All right, let's move on to Miami, Florida, where the Dolphins are 8-4, and four, and they're hosting the Kansas City Chiefs, mm. who are 11-1. and one. The Chiefs are 7.5. No, they're seven-point favorites here. Yeah. On the road, the over-under is 49 and a uh, yeah. The Dolphins are been crushing it. They've won four out of the last five games. The only loss was Denver. This is interesting because my this is a good test for Miami Dolphins defense. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Let's see if they're really truly a contender in this league. They're this only allowing 17 points per game. Yeah. 17. That's, right. That's goddamn impressive. They can keep this close. That's why I'm kind of shocked the spread is as much, seven points, because this defense is balling out. Yep. So I'm still going to pick the Chiefs, Josh. I'm, I'm going to pick the Chiefs. I'm but going Chiefs as well. I will not take those points, or I'll take the Dolphins with the points. I think it's going to be a four-point game. I don't know if it'll be a seven. I think it'll be close. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Dolphins against the spread. Mm-hmm. And the over-under is 49 and a half points. I'm going to go with the under. 
Under. Yeah, definitely. Going with an under in that one. Now, Sean, we're going out to MetLife Stadium where the Giants are hosting Ooh. the Arizona Cardinals. The Giants <sighs> looking pretty solid right now they as are. they've won four straight games. Yep. And the Cardinals, they're trending down. They've lost three straight. What's going on with Arizona right now? They were in the hunt for the playoffs, and now they're like, well, I don't know anymore. But Arizona comes into this game as yeah. two and a half favorites. What? The over-under is 45 points. Giants are underdogs again. Are they no gonna, respect. Are they about to approve Vegas wrong again? They could. Man, their defense has been playing phenomenal. Um, they've been holding teams as of late. 20, 17, 17, 12. Like, they've been killing. They they held Seattle, who was the number one score in offense, to 12 points. That's Seattle, folks. That's Russell Wilson. Yeah. Okay? And as much as I like Kyler Murray, as, long as, as much as I like that offense, you know, I'm going to, you know, favor Seattle. That was yeah. impressive as hell. Yep. And uh, Bradbury, he's going to be on Hopkins. That's going to be a great yes. matchup. Oh, phenomenal. He's been doing great against number ones this year. Yes. So, we got... You gonna go with Arizona? You gonna go with New York here? I don't want to pick New York. I really fucking don't. I, I'm surprised that they're underdogs. I'm surprised that they're not favorites. That's a little disrespectful. I'll give that. They've been winning, but I'm gonna kick the Cardinals on one reason because they are due a win, and I feel like the New York Giants are due a loss. It's those moments where you know each team eventually has to lose and win. It's hard to just keep it going. I think this is going to be one of those games. I feel like New York is riding this high right now. I think the Cardinals win will bring them down back down to level. I think Cardinals win. And fuck the Giants. When I look at their wins, man, uh, yeah, Seattle's the most impressive, obviously. Mm-hmm. They barely they barely got by Cincinnati. With a backup quarterback. Mm-hmm. Um, sorry, Giants fans. I know you guys are fucking rolling right now, but... I'm going to go with Arizona here. Yeah. I'm going to go with Arizona to get this win. Oh, and that's so fucking tough. Because MetLife Stadium is a tough place to play with that field, too. It is. That's true. With Kyler Murray. Yeah, that's true. He could be slowed down by that. That's It's possible. Damn. Oh, this is tough. I'm surprised the Giants aren't favorites in this game. I am shocked by that. I, I'm going to go with Arizona. The over-under is 45. I'll go with the over in this one. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go. All right, we're both going to Arizona. Now heading out to Tampa Bay where the Bucks are hosting the Minnesota Vikings. Yes. And the Bucks are six and a half favorites over the Vikings. The over-under mm-hmm. is 52. Bucks okay. are coming off of a bye week. You don't see that. A week 13 bye? So we got <sighs> this one. I'm going to go with the Tampa Bay Bucks. I... <sighs> Even though the Vikings need this win. The Vikings need this win for the playoffs. They are have something to play for. They are in the contention. They are in the hunt. But I'm going to go Tampa here getting two weeks to prepare with Bruce Arians. Tom Brady, maybe they get they got to sit down get shit figured out because they haven't been looking that great. I think they come off a bye week and win this. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Tampa Bay Bucks as well. But I'm actually going to go with the Vikings against the spread because the Tampa oh, yeah. Bay defense has just not been looking good. Not they late. have not been looking good as of late, man. The no. last month or so. Maybe even longer than that. But I'm going to go with Tampa. But against the spread, I will go with the Vikings. Same. And I'm going to go with the over of 52. I'm, yeah, I'm going to go over because Vikings, their defense is not looking that good. All right. Now moving on to Carolina coming off of a bye week themselves. Yes. The Panthers are 4 and 8 hosting the Denver Broncos who are 4 and 8 as well. Mm-hmm. And uh there is no spread right now. There's no over under in this game. What? So and so we should be good. Christian McCaffrey. Is he going to be back? Yeah, that's a big one. Is he going to be back here? I mean, he probably should. He probably should. He should Hopefully. be back. I'm thinking he's going to play. Yeah. Right? I'm I'm going to go ahead and assume and even, even if he doesn't play, they sell Mike Davis. Mike Davis has been balling this year. Been great. You know what the thing about that is? Is that, that you know, he's to play for my Chicago Bears. And, oh, Mike Davis, he looks like a bum over here. <laughs> I think now we know it was yeah. all Matt Nagy. Yeah. It was all Matt Nagy. Uh, yeah. Jordan exactly. Howard didn't work. Oh. Mm. Even though he worked all those years before. Yeah. And then Mike Davis, he comes away from Chicago, goes to Carolina, and he balls out. Good for him. Yeah. I'm going to go with Carolina. I'm going to go Carolina, too. I can't trust the Broncos right now. Yep. Especially if CMC comes back. Let's mm-hmm. go. Let's go. Going Carolina in the straight up pick. Now let's head to Jacksonville Duval. They're fighting for that. They're, they want to keep that number two spot. Bro. Oh, and yo, the Jaguars, I know they were pissed off at the Jets last week. Oh. They were man. pissed off at the Jets last week they were, when they gave up that touchdown to the Raiders. Dude, the Jags were so hoping that would happen so they could get possibly the number one overall pick. But you know what? The Jags, though, 
They're not doing themselves any favors, too. They've been keeping some close-ass games, Josh. What's going on here? <sighs> yeah, that last game, last week, overtime against yeah. Minnesota. Cleveland. And then 27-25 over Cleveland. Before that, it was Pittsburgh de- defeated them 27-23. And then Green Bay was 24-20. to And then Houston was 27-20 in those losses. They were all close games, except for Pittsburgh. Um, so so here okay. they are at home against the Tennessee Titans. They're coming off a loss to the Cleveland Browns, who did a yes. great job last week containing Derrick Henry. They shut him down. And I think they're going to go to Duval County and tighten up in the chat because they're going to get the win. But are the Jags do a win here? No. Are they? They they no. Absolutely not. No, yeah, yeah. You're right. I think they're gonna still do pretty good. James Robinson's been a monster, possibly rookie of the year. One he's definitely in the contention. So I'm yeah, but Derrick Henry's gonna run all over the Jags. Uh seven and a half favorites are the Titans. All right, you're going to give Jaguars the points? I'll give Jaguars the points. Okay. I think they're, cause they've been keeping everything close. All so, right. yeah. I actually think Tides are going to beat them by 10 points or more. Ooh, actually, yep. okay. I think this is this is going to be a statement win by the Titans. Okay. They're going to beat the Jaguars by 10 points or more. The over-under is 53. You're going with? Uh, I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over, but they co- they cover the spread. They keep All the right. Spread. Okay, <sighs> and the Jags with the points. I'm going to go under, actually. I'm going to go under this game. All right, now to Vegas, where the Raiders are seven and five. Woo! Yeah, that was a tough. All you that was tough last week. All you Raiders wipe the brows. You guys thought it was over, but then you win. Hey, at least y'all got a against the Jets. Fired. I know. The Raiders are here at home against the Indianapolis Colts, who are yeah. eight and four. The Colts are three point favorites here. Mm-hmm. The over under is fifty one and a half. Raiders, Colts, who you got? Dude, I don't know what's... See, the Raiders are looking so good, but as of late, they just... They almost beat the Chiefs. Then they lost to Atlanta. They got... No, they got destroyed by Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And then they almost... They should have lost to the Jets. Yep, if it wasn't for that fucking horrible defensive play call by Williams, they would have probably lost that game, but... Um, no, I, I think the Colts are going to come in here and uh, get this uh, get this dub here. Sorry. Sorry, Raiders. Sorry, Vegas. Yeah. The Colts are going to win. Right. And yeah. three-point favorites, the yeah. Colts are? I think they win by four points at least. Yeah. yeah. The over-under is 51 and a half. Uh, I'll go over. you going to go over? I think I'm going to go over on this one. Ooh, I don't know, though. I'm going to go under. Yeah, this one. actually, I'm going to go under, too. Sorry. I just realized. Yeah, I forgot the Colts actually have a really good defense. Good luck to the Raiders, though. All right, now headed to Seattle. The Seahawks are hosting oh. the New York Jets. Seahawks coming off of a loss against the New York Giants at yeah. home. Yeah, that and they're playing another New York team coming into their house, the Jets. Um, I think they're going to have a monster bounce back game and just demolish. Right, so far this is the biggest spread of the week. It's 13 and a half points. The Seahawks are favored. Makes sense. I'm going to get the Seahawks to win. And uh, I think they will beat them by more than 13 and a half points. Oh, it's gonna and be- I'm going to go with the over, which is 47 points. If you're in fan- if you're in the fantasy playoffs, I would start every Seattle player because they're going to go off. <laughs> All right, Seattle. <laughs> that better not be one of those games where that's a huge upset. Oh, you better God. not be. Now headed to Detroit, we have a divisional game here. Oh. We have the Lions coming off of a win against the My Chicago Bears mm. against the Cheeseheads. Sean, the Cheeseheads are seven and a half favorites. The over under is 55 points, right? Chill. Now, Green Bay, they're coming off a good win against the they Philadelphia are. Eagles, who they saw Jalen Hurts for the first time. Yes, they did, but they still beat them by 14 points. It looked like the Eagles are starting to make a ba- uh, come back into it, but then all of a sudden, Aaron Jones with a huge ass run just put it away. Uh-huh. And, and I think that's just Aaron Jones having a monster year, Aaron Rodgers having a monster year. So, Swift. Is he finally going to come ah. back? Galladay, is he Is he ever going to play? Is he ever going to play? I don't know what's happening. with uh, Swift was ill, so he should be back. But So I, I, the biggest question is going to be Galladay. Galladay, yes. But no matter. I think the Packers are going to win this game. Um, you know, they're going to be fighting for top seeding in the NFC West, yeah. in, in the NFC playoff picture. So they need this one. So I'm going to go with the Packers. Uh, Aaron Rodgers continue his MVP uh, campaign this year. Yep. And Devontae Adams is absolutely bowling out. Just stunning season for Devontae Adams. Arguably right now, he's like one of the best in the game right now. Him and Tyreek Hill are just murdering it. So yeah. Let's All right, go. but would you uh, take the Lions against the spread? Seven and a half favorites? No. No? I yeah. think Packers are going to murder him. Me too. 
Mm-hmm. I think they're going to beat them by like 10, 12 points. And the over-under is 55. I will go with the over. Oh, yeah, over. Now let's head to Philadelphia. The Eagles against the Saints. Big news out of Philadelphia. Ooh. Wentz on the bench. He is benched. Jalen Hurts is starting. Their second round pick, Jalen Hurts, is starting for the Philadelphia Eagles. Imagine giving that much money to a quarterback and now his ass is on the bench. Well, you know what that's about, Jake. Yep. <laughs> Mike Glennon, I'm sorry. Fucking Glennon. I'm sorry. $18 million he took. <sighs> Oh, yeah. But yeah. the Saints here are seven-point favorites on the road. The yep. over/under is forty-four points. Do you think hmm. that Jalen Hurts here with his uh, with his start yeah. against the Saints could he can do something? something? I mean, if and, if he was playing anybody but the Saints, maybe. But the Saints' defense, as of late, has been crushing it. They've yep. been great. I mean, Philly. The, no, I'm gonna go Saints. Saints. Are ten and two. The Eagles yeah. have lost four straight. Yeah. Give me the goddamn sense. Even with the points. The points. Yeah. They're gonna beat it by more than seven points. And the over under oh. is forty four. Over. Gonna go with the over there as yeah. well. Sorry, Jalen Hurts. But you know what? It'd be a big story. I would love. Jalen Hurts goes out there. Yeah. And beats the Saints. I like that kid. And now the yeah. the, the Saints are ten and three. And then the Packers improved to ten and three after beating Ooh. the Lions. That would be a crazy story. Oh, shit. I would love to see Jalen Hurts do something. I, I like that guy. He's a good guy. All right, now we go to our next game. That's the Chargers hosting the Atlanta Falcons. Ah. The Chargers are coming off a loss. The Falcons are coming off of a loss. But the Chargers' loss, though, was a shutout. They couldn't score a single point against New England. They lost 45-0. to zero. Yeah. And uh, the Falcons entered this game as two-and-a-half favorites with the over-under 49-and-a-half. You going with the Falcons? You going with the Chargers? I'm shocked that the Falcons are favorites here but because I'm actually going to go Chargers here. I think the Chargers, there's no way you put up a goose egg one week with that kind of offense, Eckler, Hunter Henry, Keenan Allen, and Herbert and the helm. I think they're going to bounce back in a in very classic because Falcons have a trash defense. Right. They I, do. Give me the Chargers. <laughs> Looking for somebody to stop me. <laughs> No. Don't you fucking do it, Josh. I don't know. Are you going to do it? I'm going to go in bold a lot. A lot of bold picks this year. Um, sometimes it's helped. Sometimes it's burned the fuck out hey, of me. you picked the Washington football team to beat the Steelers. Uh, I'm going to go with the Falcons. Fuck it. I'm going with the fucking Falcons. <sighs> Shit. God, that feels dirty saying that. <laughs> the Dirty Birds, isn't that what they're called? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Falcons. Uh, it's a two and a half point spread, so it's basically a pick them. The, the over under is 49 and a half. You're going with the over under. I'm going with the over. I'm going with the over. Yeah. I'm going with nice, the Falcons. Could be a shootout. Now to San Francisco. Yeah, no. The, the San Francisco, the 49ers are hosting the Washington football team. Of uh, course, this is not in California, in Santa Clara, yes. where they actually play yeah. because they, they're not allowed to play in California right now. Jesus. But the 49ers are three point favorites over the mm-hmm. Washington no namers. The over yeah. The over under is 43 and a half. Washington handed Pittsburgh their first loss on primetime. Alex Smith with the bloody sock and all got the job done. Montez what was incredible. That yeah. defense is for real. People oh, are starting to notice. But here they are against the 49ers. Who you got? Because this is interesting. I might. You might get spicy? I might go spicy. <laughs> okay. I might get spicy here too because you know what? We The Niners, I'm sorry. I don't trust Nick Mullins. I don't trust them. This D-line, the best thing about the Niners typically every week is that they run the ball. Guess what? You ain't going to be able to run the ball against Washington. Nope. Sean, guess what? What? Also, this storyline, Alex Smith versus his old team of the 49ers. Come on now. Touché. Give me the no-namers. Give me Washington. I Give can't. us Washington. You're going Washington? I'm going Washington. Let's go, baby. I'm going Alex Smith, Woo! baby. Let's Woo! go. Put a whooping on them. If they can shut down Pittsburgh running game, which Pittsburgh has one of the best offensive lines, Joe, they'll stop this If one. Washington wins this game, Arizona beats New York, Washington is number one in the division, That's right. and I want Alex Smith in the playoffs. Comeback player of the year. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry, Fort Anders fans. I'm cheering for Washington. Rocha, stop looking at us like that. Stop. Yeah, you fat fuck. 
<laughs> you fat. <laughs> God damn, <laughs> John. All right. Sorry. All right, now we're about to head to prime time. But before we do, Gus, oh, yeah. everyone, thank you so much for joining us here on the live premiere. And if you're watching the replay, thank you, guys. If uh, you wouldn't mind, smack that like button for the uh, for the pick of video. Thank, thank you, guys. You. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you, guys, so much. And now we go to prime time Sunday night football. We actually have some good prime time games. Wow. I'm excited. And the first one here on Sunday night football is Buffalo Bills hosting the Pittsburgh Steelers. Ah. <sighs> Bills coming off a uh, two-game winning streak. Yep. Steelers, they lost for the first time last week. They did. You go on Bills, you go on Steelers. Right now, the favorites are Bills, two and a half what? points. So it's basically a pick them. Yeah. And the over-under is 46 and a half. See, Bills are the favorites. Bills. Respect to the Bills. Finally. Remember they were underdogs? People said the Niners were favorites. Yep. I wonder if this is going to change. But this is interesting, and this is very tough, because... Right now, everything I'm looking at, it says the Steelers should be the ones that win it because their defense. They're, they're both scoring the same amount of points. 27.8 points a game offensively. Difference is the defense. Steelers' defense is putting up 17, is holding teams to 17.6 points. Bills, 25.5. So, not that great. So, this is one that's tough for me. Because, you know, I've been riding the Bills. I, I, I've been loving the Bills. Josh Allen, I love it. I, fuck. Love the Bills. Bills Mafia, baby. Fuck. Going. Everything points to the Steelers, man. Everything points. They should bounce back. They lost. Maybe this grounds them. They bring them. They should bounce back. But oh, fuck it. I'm going Bills. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. Don't don't ask for a logical explanation, guys. It's I because just, you hate the Steelers. I do. Um, and I just want I just want Josh Allen to succeed. Yes, because you know what. We love Josh Allen coming into the draft. And, we do. And there's we a do. lot of naysayers oh. about Josh Allen. We, we, yeah. we couldn't understand it. And what? we love the fact that he is balling out and he's an MVP candidate this year. Proving everybody wrong. And Stephon Diggs is great. Oh. He's been great for the Bills this year. Phenomenal. Love him. Cole Beasley was fantastic last week. Yes, he was. He was, a, he was clutch, dude. Yeah, he was carving up that. They were carving up that secondary yesterday, uh, the other day. I wish you luck, Bills. Yeah. But I'm going to pick what... The Steelers. I don't blame you. I'm going with the Steelers on this pick. And we will be streaming this game. We will. This is going to be a hell of a game. Fuck, it's going to be exciting. I am going to pick the Steelers to win. Fuck. I, honestly, I should. I should pick the Steelers. I don't know. I'm going with my heart here. I'm going with my heart. 46 and a half is the over under. Over? Under? Under. No, over. Actually, I'm going to go with the over. I'm, I'm going to say go this is going to be a game. I, I think they're both going to be balling out. This I is going to be a game. Gonna be balling out. Yep. So. All right. I'm going Steelers. He's going Buffalo. This next game. All right. To the dog pound we go. Oh, shit. For Monday night football. We will be streaming this. The Browns, 9-3 and three Browns, hosting the 7-5 and five Baltimore Ravens. Ravens. Mm -hmm. So, Browns, Ravens, AFC North divisional game on primetime. Fuck, this one's tough, guys. There's no spread right now or over-under. Well, because the Ravens game just ended, so they're probably just capping. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one's tough because both uh, Ravens, the running game, are phenomenal, but the, the Cleveland Browns just shut down Derrick Henry. They just shut his ass down. Stop. Stop. But, stop. Stop. Well, stop Jackson's it. a different animal. Give me the Browns. I'm not even going to fuck around. Give what? me the Browns. I'm not fucking around. Give me the Browns. I'm going with the Browns. Hey, look. I was fucking high on the Browns going into this year. I was last year. But shit went crazy. And I said, no, I'm not getting off the train. This team's too talented. And it's going to be good. Just watch. And a lot of people told me, no. No, Josh. It's not going to happen. It's not. I'm telling you. Well, look at them. They're 9 and 3. Give me the fucking Browns. On prime time. Browns are on a four-game winning streak right now. Um, Let's go, Dog Pound. In the chat. Let's go. Ravens. They f were on a three-game losing streak until they played my Cowboys, and they finally won. And they lost against New England, Tennessee, and Pittsburgh. Now, let me point this out. They lost to Tennessee. Baltimore did. Guess who just beat Tennessee? Cleveland. <whistles> Give me the Browns to win. You're going Browns. You're going Browns. Now, I will say I think this is going to be actually a very close game. I think it's going to come down. My prediction for the score, I think it's going to be a one-point game. A one a one point game. I'm picking 24-23. I don't know what the spread is. That's why I'm giving my exact. So I want to say it's a one point game. 24-23. It's gonna be close. I don't know. 
So I think whatever the over under is, I guess. I'm gonna say this final score is gonna be twenty three seventeen. Okay. Cleveland. Twenty three seventeen. Okay. Twenty three seventeen. Would you right. say? At twenty four twenty three Browns. Twenty four twenty three. I'm saying twenty three seventeen. Cleveland wins. Okay. So there we go. So I'm not, we don't know what the over-under is, but once that does come out, y'all can base it off of that. All right, there we go. Thank you guys so much for joining our picks. That's it. That's it. That's, That's all the all. picks. We got some good primetime games. No bye weeks. Let's Nothing. Go. All right. Thank you guys for joining us on this premiere. Make sure you guys smack that like button on your way out. I hope you guys uh, had a good fun, and we'll and, see uh, you tomorrow night. Thursday night football. For Thursday night football. Hopefully. And then on Sunday night football, and then on Monday night football. Okay? Hopefully we have a good game. All right. And fire Matt Nagy! Fire Ryan Pace, Please. fire Ted Phillips, and fire Chuck Pagano. Send those motherfuckers off the pier. I'm not even gonna Walk f- the goddamn plank. I'm not a Bears fan. I want that to happen. Fuck those assholes. And just, Bears fans, where you at? But if anything, Tell them. Feed it to Montgomery. That's all. That's all you need to do. All right. We'll see you all next right. week. Bye-bye. Oh, shit. Were we recording?